That's going to be Patreon bonus material is a tour of Zach's uh, movie memorabilia. Yes. Not really movie memorabilia. It's, I, I went to a dollar and I said, do you have any spare mylars? And they were like, yes, I got a stack of this thick. Hey, no, man, talk it up. Be like, yeah. yeah, you know, I had to bribe some guy in the parking lot, slipped him a 20 and a bag of weed to get this. This is one of a kind right here. This is some seriously clandestine shit. It was yeah. you know, real sketchy, but here we are. I have this a poster book. was signed by John Boyd. He wouldn't star in it, but <laughs> he signed it. <laughs> I'm not even sure it's a real John Voight, but, you know. No. <sighs> Unfortunate, yes. disappointing, it's many things. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 262 of the CamCast. Yes, the podcast that Woo! is now now nationwide, baby. Coast to coast. We'll oh, get to my... that part in a minute. Oh, Jesus Christ, Zach, what are you doing? From coast to coast. I, like, this is not that south, but still coast to coast. I was just... I just saw a whole lot of just arm moving. I didn't quite see what was going on. It was just a lot of blurs. It wasn't a dab. I don't dab in this room. It's a dab-free zone. He's uh, doing the YMCA over there. Perfect. YMCA. <laughs> was that right? I am Mike, dear leader, doc taste, leader of men, herder of cats. Guy who's just going to be fatter than he ever was at the end of this whole goddamn quarantine thing. <laughs> I'm joined, as always, by the one, the only, the good Colonel Eddie Dean himself, the chairman of the boards. Man who's not dabbing in his own bedroom, because that would be weird. There it is. Zach Lords. Nice to yeet you, AJ. Ah, we'll get to that in a minute. Why does why do you feel like pain? You look, you, I can see the pain in your face. Oh, I will get to why. I've, wait, me or AJ? <laughs> AJ. Oh, well. Or no, me, we'll, for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> he is one of two pained parties in this podcast. He's doing a lot of the heavy lifting and has been. So everybody say thank you very much to... The one, the only, the shadowy billionaire himself, Trent from Sandy. Trent. Sandy. Ahoy, hoy, AJ. How's it going, guys? There it is. Yes, and have joining some Skittles us. Skittles on me. Yeah, just throw those really hard at the screen, see what happens. Oh, thanks. <laughs> mm, oh, uh, that's a great. <laughs> uh, he gets it. He understands improv. He did a free Groundlings class once or twice in his life. Joining us all the way from Tennessee, it is superfan AJ. Hey! There it is, and he's even wearing the hat. Better than me, oh, but of course. Yeah, I mean, my beanie's Don't we down do this here. every week, Zach? My beanie's <laughs> here, but it's kind of warm, and my hair is super oh. thick and luxurious, so it's really hot to put the beanie on. So, while Zach does that, uh, feel free to follow us on all of the social medias. We are at Cam Automag on a lot of them, primarily Facebook and Instagram. But hey, man, as soon as this apocalypse ends ends i'm blowing the dust off twitter i'm getting real spicy out there whole lot of whole lot of opinions that have been bottled up inside gonna be coming out just like everybody else who has a twitter account we are also cam automag on youtube which you can be watching this live yeah. this week the last uh, it's, it's a public one for this week uh yep, the, the, last... all the other weeks you can get it live on patreon if you're a subscriber yeah, the last month, the uh, last recording of every month is the one we do for free. Give you a little bit of taste. If you want it every week, you want that good stuff, you got to hit us up on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Cam Automag is where you do that. Any dollar amount is uh, appreciated, but if you want to watch us, $5 a month or more will get you access to every broadcast of the CamCast recording, bonus content, the Cam Super Secret Shanigan shitposting Facebook group, all sorts of other fun and exciting things. All available at patreon.com slash camautomag. And uh, if you just want to listen... something. Oh. What? Oh, that cut you off. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's, it's good. I'm used to it. This is now. awful. No. We, we should do no. the Brady Bunch thing. What? No, no, we're not doing the Brady Bunch thing. Absolutely. We're all in a little box. But we need, we need five more. And who's going to be Alice? Nobody. Not me. Nobody wants not to me. be Alice. No one wants to be Alice. It, it's gonna anyway... Be. No, no. Just, Alice. Oh my god. Alice. <laughs> I mean she was out there living her life, you know? So I'll fucking I'll do it. Not be one of your weirdos. Anyway, hey, uh so this oh well, one minute, well, Zach. I just gotta tell people where they can find the podcast, which is everywhere podcasts are available. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, like, rate, review, subscribe. You know, just go ahead and drive around your neighborhood real slow with the speakers cranked all the way up. Let the people know what time it is. It's cam time. 
All right, Zach, what do you got? Wired up t-shirt in my lap. Turns out to be... <laughs> yeah! Understare to victory! This is now yeah. collectible, because I, I think I own the only one of these. Yeah, I mean, like, you own <laughs> you own the only one of those. I think I'm the only one who owns a, pin, or, uh, hey, a Pinto Go hey. Boom. Hey, this what? is not this is not the way we sell our merchandise. We have to make it seem as if it's in demand. Oh, well, there are hey, an unknown amount of those out there. Hey, man, but be collectible uh, at know, some point. It's, they're got... they're collectible items. If, yes, if we've got one before we shut it down. Oh yeah, we haven't shut it down yet. Hey, man, you know, plenty of fun limited edition stuff out, floating around out in the wild. Just uh, you know, look for that on eBay. But if you want some new cam hotness, head over to camautoswag.com. And guess what? We're getting to be summertime. Time to put away that super awesome cam hoodie that you've been rocking all springtime mm-hmm. long. Time to get you some sweet-ass new flip-flops and shorts. And, because you're a hype beast, get the backpack too. Yes. So, yes. I am ready to go to my next local drift event and be literally dripping and all that hot boy swag from literally uh, head to toes in that cam hot boy swag. It's going and to be check amazing. It out over at camautoswag.com. Zach, that, right? that might be your best read yet. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> there you go, buddy. <laughs> I'm glad yeah. to be here for this. <laughs> AJ, AJ witnessing he, history. He gave, me the, he gave me the confidence. Yep, there we go. Mission accomplished. Be my object. Could you look at we air, did. Air knuckles? Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, 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 that no, looks oh, like no. some... <laughs> Wow. There are different locations to meet your kitty corner. So, oh, uh, so you're right next to me. So, <laughs> so this is this is going oh, well. I can't Guys, move them this either. Is great. <laughs> hang on. Yeah, because you're you're next to me. So <laughs> you're can... below me down here. I can fist bump Mike. Mike, get me on the right oh, side. Oh, but Mike's above you for me. I I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to reach out and touch any of you because this has already taken a weird okay. turn. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll give you a fist bump because I can see it on the screen. Okay. Yeah. There. Ooh. Perfect. That makes no sense. It, it works on my screen. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I could probably direct this if you really want to because I see. We how are going. trying to tell people that we have some fantastic merch. And oh, yes, we did. We did that. Zach did his best read ever. Uh, Wait, yeah, um, I was going to elaborate on it, but oh, you know, oh, it's, please, it's gone. It, no, it's gone. It's oh, gone. it's the wrong way. It's the wrong way. I well, just but, realized on the stream what you're talking about. I'm on the bottom right. Yeah. You know? Anyway, uh, speaking of another place you can get cool stuff on the internet, our longtime sponsor, Steady Broke Clothing, they have plenty of cool stuff. Yep, like the hat Trent is wearing, like the Broke AF t shirt that I get compliments on whenever I wear it, the Depresso T. Broke State University, plenty of awesome stuff. It's available over at steadybroke.com. Put a bunch of their stuff in your cart and use coupon code CAMAUTO15 at checkout to save 15% on your entire order. Just because you're broke doesn't mean you can't live your dreams. Steady Broke Clothing. And uh, real quick, we are still doing the Twitch Tuesday thing because we are all still locked inside of our homes, whether or not we want to be or not. Uh, We're going to do one more night of Forza Horizon 4. See how many people we can get in on this see what other terrible awful cars we can build and then have go fun shenanigans with it went from c-class cars including turns out the uh, jag xjs v12 only has three forward gears as i found out the hard way yeah yeah imagine my surprise to uh 1400 horsepower all-wheel drive gremlin drag cars that's the night took some turns (laughs) and some really and some random dude in a beetle that could do wheelies just showed up and was just doing wheelies with uh, me, Quinn, Jordan, and Chris. So, yeah, if you want to check it out, uh, twitch.tv slash camautomike. And, uh, yeah, watch the shenanigans starting 7 p.m. Mountain, 9 p.m. AJ's time, 3 p.m. Hawaiian on Twitch. Uh, all right, guys, how's everybody been? I'm exhausted as all hell, but let me hear about how your guys have been doing. I was going to say, what's your vice tonight, Mike? I got the Skittles. AJ's got the rum. Zach's got the uh, the vape oh, and go. the beer. Um, yeah, so I went to the store today because I was going to get me some more Coke Zero because that was my last 
grip on not being a total disgusting fat ass and though they were out of it so i got a whole bunch of coke and then my girlfriend brought me not only a pepperoni pizza from the pie she also got me god this is not gonna work out so well uh a cheese pull apart so yeah Ooh. i'm just gonna eat myself out of pretty much everything that doesn't have an elastic waistband <laughs> it's gonna be one of the things i miss about utah the most is the pie oh dude it's it's glorious. It is glorious. I do well, miss the it good thing is that that uh, new athletic shorts have an elastic oh, yes. band. I, so Done. There you go. Perfect. You go. Man, if we can just get some sweatpants in time for fall, I'm there. We can, and we will. <clears throat> I I have thoughts just like the OG Cam logo, just up one of the legs. No, ass print. You need to ask print right there. Just ooh. No, th- that's the I signed the waiver sweatpants. <laughs> and there's a dotted <laughs> line right there on the ass. Uh, Dave's I was face thinking here. just Dave's face. Yeah. Yep. That's <laughs> there. We go. Uh, <laughs> but there's, go... There's, there's, some, there's some implications there. Every time you sit down, that I don't want to think about. Yeah. <laughs> just don't think. <laughs> Perfect. So I went camping. Good. How was it? <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I had fun, and I went with fun people and fun friends. Okay. It was a great time, and the taco did really well, as always. So then I put it in a fucking hole. Did you, did you guys see those photos? No. I saw a couple of them. I'll, I did not. I'll show them the st- stream here, because I, I think I can do that mildly successful here. Okay. I found the limits of the Tacoma's flex. <laughs> wow. Nice. You fucking did it, bud. There's, there's a better one here. And so here's me standing in the hole with the mud flap that I broke. <laughs> Nailed it. Um, but the, the thing is, you got pulled out? No, no, I backed right Okay. Up. Okay, just, good. I was going to say, it's like you should have been able to get out of that. Yeah. So what happened was uh, we, we, were trying to, we were trying to see if this camp spot was available, and it wasn't. And so we ended up having to turn around this kind of little field thing. And I was first one to turn around, and I was watching everyone else around me, so I wasn't really seeing. And so I just, like, slowly creeped down into this hole. And before I knew it, I'm sitting like this, and I'm like, uh. And we all have walkie-talkies. And so someone was talking about going to their campsite, and I hear two other people chiming over their voices saying, oh, fuck, is he okay? <laughs> Always a good thing to hear on the radio. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But everything was fine. And then I, the, the mud flap and I backed up got caught on the wheel and I yanked it down. The mud flaps are like $15, so it's not a huge deal. There you go. That's what I did this week. Nice. Nice. Well, Trent, do you do anything um, particularly fun? Oh, oh I oh, ran. Oh, hold hold on. I was very excited. Another funny story about me fucking up. Zach, we could fill this entire podcast with stories of you fucking up. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna tell this next story. So Your fuck um, up cup runneth over. Oh, uh, always. I, I have I have a pyramid of overfill cups of fuck ups. It is the Duff pyramid of fuck ups. <laughs> so, um, so, uh, so actually, a friend of the program um, and Brandon Christensen uh, bought our Range Rover down at the shop, and he, he came. I can't remember his name right now. I can look it up, but I'm significantly too lazy to do that right now. Um, oh boy! And him and his fiance came, and his fiance was interested in our viper. And at the time, our shop owner Ryan was intoxicated, and so it became my responsibility to take her for a ride in the viper. Nice. Um, I have a little route plan, and let's, I, I, I can get, normally do a pretty good show. So we, we get on the highway, and the normal procedure is to let first spin all the way through to get the tires warm, so I don't I don't have cold tires on the highway. So I hit my shift point right at where I'm supposed to. I can't remember what it, what RPM it is, but right on the line and I go for second and I fucking missed it like I didn't hit four (laughs) I hit nothing I hit thin air it was the most embarrassing moment of my life like where we're full tilt and now we're just rolling on the highway and of course the second the the second we get back to the shop she gets out the car and goes well you missed second gear and yeah I know bitch that right into the shifter gate. Yeah, yeah just we're centered it. Just, just, yeah. 
So everyone called, everyone's like, Are you sure you could drive that? Do you know where second is? No. <laughs> Do you, Zach? But Do you? I got some karma later later that night with her. I end up, um, when we're getting off the highway, I, I managed to get sideways coming off the highway. That's what I kids are calling was, it nowadays, huh? I, I think that was enough karma having her scream as it's careening sideways off the on-ramp into the, the street. There we go. Well, per- perfectly controlled, but well, she didn't know that. Per- perfectly controlled. That's perfect. I just changed my underwear afterwards. I promised my underwear was clean. Well, on that note, Trent, what, Sorry. what have you two, done? Two great stories. Pass. Pat, okay. So, just get a, all right. I am extre- <laughs> I, I'm just. Can Trent not talk me here? What's going on? I mean, I don't think anybody can, but I'm just going to do the American thing and just keep fucking talking. Please do. So, I want to hear. So, I am extremely tired because I took a couple days off work and I was helping my girlfriend move into her new apartment, which was just all sorts of bullshit all week. But I did manage to get Trent uh, some wings. Promised I was going to make him some wings. I made him some and wings. They were delicious. Good. Glad you enjoyed them. Yeah. I so I most certainly get... did. Good. Yeah. So I managed to get Trent some wings. But um, yeah, spent uh, a a lot a lot of time waiting around for a new apartment complex to stop being shitty. And they eventually did. And then yeah, moved into uh, got all of her stuff moved into her new apartment, which is five minutes away from my house now. So. That's always awesome. Yeah, it means you can walk home drunk. I mean, <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. But yeah, it was just. I don't think he's realized he'd that be, yet. He no, I know through Midvale. So this side of Midvale, I'm okay with. Bring a gun, you'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I lost You're my gun, Tennessee, but I kept my right? knife. We have Tennessee? a story about a gun. No, no do God. we? It's not me, is it? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Not that I know of. <laughs> well, I have plausible deniability. There it is. But um, yeah, it was it was a very exhausting later half of the weekend weekend for me. So I am still recovering. So yeah, it was it was annoying. But I did learn that uh, in her apartment complex, there is probably the cleanest late generation Ford Probe I've ever seen in my life. One of the neighbors has a not terrible 350Z. There's an M235i running around. There's a classic FJ. There is a totally dumped F-150, like, on the fucking ground. So it's a good neighborhood, what you're saying. Yeah, it's a fun little neighborhood. Is is this the one kind of closer to the highway, that like the the, the big one? No, this is uh, kind of behind the Walmart. Oh, yeah, there's there's some really nice apartments there. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's it's a, it's an awesome little apartment. So, and it seems like a nice neighborhood, and it's also very low car friendly. So, um, yeah, I may or may not be looking a lot harder at FRSs and BRZs. Yes. So, yep. So there we Do go. It. I mean, listen, it's it's going to be the time will come for me to just abandon any pretense of responsibility and just get something dumb fun. Just so, go find yourself yeah, another Mark III. Don't fucking tempt me. And and so help me. You I will what? support a four a Mark seater. III. A four seater is not dumb fun. Like it still has some practicality to it. Like don't oh, yeah, don't but, try and sell it as you're getting, you know, a cage caged race car or something. I mean, if I were to put a seat. I mean, if I were to put a harness bar in that thing, those rear seats are going to be kind of useless. So yeah, you know, nobody wants a face full of harness bar. I, I, I want to see like it's weird. I've never I've known Mike for what coming up on two years, more or less. Yeah, and I've only known you with the mini minivan. I desperately want to see you with something totally badass. I mean, like like I um I I wish I was there for the Ronda days. Like I wish I was able to see you. Oh, you should Ronda. have been there for the I'm gonna supercharge this Hyundai Santa Fe days. Hey oh, man, yeah. don't you fucking dare me. I will or go find one of those for like two grand <laughs> at auction. <laughs> and we'll just hurl boosted yeah. nitrous at it until that thing gives up. I support you need, it. You need to put the mini minivan on bags. Mm. Mm. That's, I mean, the spare tire is flat. So I've essentially just assumed that I'm never going to have a spare tire again. So I do have a well <laughs> that I could put stuff in. There you go. <laughs> there we go. 
Damn it, AJ, we need to have you on more often. <laughs> you just got all sorts of great ideas. Words of That's what I'm here man. for. Yep. I think Josiah in the YouTube chat wants me to get a Stagia, which, okay, I'm down. Yeah. Fuck it. Oh, that's my Yada. roommate, by the way. Oh, hey, Hi, buddy. Joe. It would be great if he yelled back and we heard him. I'm I mean, if he yells loud <laughs> enough, he's in the next room, he probably could. Yeah. <laughs> or if he could just walk in and just kind of stick his head in. <laughs> Joe, come here. Come here. <laughs> Joe, come here. There we go. Oh, well, that I'm assuming happens. Ryan is one of my friends. I assume so. Probably. He likes Miatas, and he's named Ryan. So I'm assuming that's my friend Ryan. Do you, you have a have type of name? name? <laughs> like uh, Ryan, I I don't know his last name off my head, and he's probably watching, which is really fucking embarrassing right now. Ryan, um, Ryan, hold on, Ryan. Um, oh, hang on, we found that. Hey, oh, hey, hey, hey. oh, hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> perfect. Ah, uh, this is going swimmingly. Hold on, Ryan's yes. last name is is uh, fucking Beats. There it is. Didn't nice. have to look it up on Facebook. I promise that. Good. All right. So, uh, excellent uh, detective work, Zach. Okay, yeah, we that's, have, that's Ryan that I know. We've got uh, four people we need to uh, wish happy birthday to real quick. Let me just make sure I'm not going to wish somebody happy birthday twice because I ain't doing that shit. Nope. All right. So. How did we wish Chris Miller happy? Well, fuck it, whatever. We'll wish, we'll wish Chris had another happy birthday because it was just yesterday. So happy birthday again, Chris. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Christian birthday. Rojas, Dante Potenciano, and then happy birthday to the one, the only, the Daddy Rads. The man whose face is on a t-shirt dripping with sweat and snot, Dave Raleigh. Yay! Not, yep. Not his birthday, his so. birthday is Friday, so. Our brother miss, missing in action. Oh, man. Yes. Somebody wants us to start over, but that's not happening. No. I'm no. Sorry. Also, apparently, I doxed Ryan. Sorry. Adam, but... <laughs> Goddamn. Damn it, Zach. Uh, by the way, Jackson agrees that we should have an entire episode dedicated to your screw ups, just so yeah, you know. I love Zach. him, but why the fuck are we listening to him? Because he's got he's a man with a plan. He's he's got ideas for days. Mike, Mike, just make I'm a Patreon gonna... extra Patreon video. Just put a camera on Zach and have Zach run okay, through so, his so entire the, life. the only thing though is Jackson has to be there. Hmm. Mm. He I, I know you That's hate him. Really really I'm it's able... just you have to be there and you have to be in front of a camera and a mic and really we don't have to be here. Yeah. He just leave me in a dark room with a camera. <laughs> just throw you in a room with bro cam. Just, just be like, all just right, text well, we'll us be when back. you're done, Zach. <laughs> text us when you're done. <laughs> just send Mike the raw and you'll be fine. The, the right, right, Ryan or right Jackson would be helpful here is he's been there for ninety five percent of these awful things, and <laughs> a lot of them I can blame on him. Yeah, he, hey, he's not he just here. said he just said half the stories of his screw ups include him so yeah there we go <laughs> and he's gonna remind me of these things that i actually put him, and he can make fun of me and that's for good content i mean it could it's content. Well. Content, it co- content all content is good content right that's content exactly content 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 In- anyway so let's, let's uh let's get let's, into this thing yes Trent, you you have the wheel my friend I do. Oh crap! All right. I've well, I, I've looked at the agenda and I kind of read oh, through no. the little notes you put on no, there. You didn't. So. You didn't really do anything. Okay. So, uh, um, <laughs> Ferrari. Let's get into the news. Ferrari this this year is still planning to introduce two new models in spite of COVID nineteen. There is no, we don't know what they are yet. We have seen spy shots of an updated Portofino. Which okay. you know is fairly new, but it's just a refresh of the California T, which was a refresh of the California. So they could say it's a whole new model by calling it the Portofino T or something like that. But uh, there has been a hybrid test mule with a 488 body. It is yeah. not the SF90 Stradale. No. There's something else running around. I just love uh, that it's like white hefty trash bags just gaff taped onto or, this thing. Why not? I mean, it's uh, this white and this weird white and black is really kind of doing something for me. I'm not going to lie. Mm, okay. Is what your I'm next saying? car going to be camo then? A camo <laughs> FRS? Yeah, I'm just going to get something black and then just head over to the Smiths and just get the cheap ass Kroger bags and 
Like a little <laughs> gaff tape sticking around, just throwing it on hey. there. Hey, you got to do the click list bags because those are the white bags. Oh, all right. So, so uh, I'm, I remember I'm stepping ahead here just for a second, but I'm assuming. Don't it's a do hybrid. it. Cold. It, it could be. <laughs> I didn't think you were. I thought you were going to jump ahead like eight stories, like you usually do. Oh, when no, you no, say, no, no, no. I'm going to jump ahead a little story. bit. So no, yeah, okay, go ahead. Yeah. The, the photos and there's a giant electricity sticker on it, which normally is an indicator for hybrid systems. Yeah, I think it would be cool for them to do like a front axle, like electrified front axle, which, I mean, that would make a hell of a lot of sense, give you some quick all-wheel driveness. Yeah. Uh, and... We were also caught, uh, caught the firm testing an electric powertrain. So hmm. this is, um, is a, it's rumored that it's a point to a hybrid powertrain around the Ferrari's first road-going V6 engine. Ooh. Yes. All right. Or first since, since, since the Dino, but. <laughs> yeah. uh, the Dino. So their SUV is not coming for a couple of years, so it's not going to be that. Um, and then well, I apologize. I don't know who it is, but D Ed in the, uh, in the YouTube live says Ferrari, Ohio <laughs> to replace the California. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. D Eddie. Ohio. We appreciate it. Ohio is a place to aspire to live. It is. Not really. But. <laughs> it's also for lovers. <laughs> I like Man. the reference. Uh, anyway, so yeah, interesting to see what uh, cars we won't be able to afford this year. Yep. Uh, coming out from Ferrari. But uh, in some sad news that we didn't even know existed, uh, GM's car sharing service, Maven, is dead. Oh, oh wow. it has a car sharing service? Hang on, hang on. Did they have car sharing service? Yeah. Had exactly. apparently now. Uh, <laughs> did a hell of a job marketing it. Right? Apparently it was in 17 cities. What cities? I, I they're don't all know. in California. I, ju- I think they're all in Ohio. Probably. Like, they're just all like, in Kentucky. <laughs> hey. Man, just yeah, East Lansing, so- Michigan. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, so at one point, Maven had, like, huge plans, apparently. They were going to expand into boats, RVs, even lawnmowers at one point. I don't know. but uh, Well, damn it. That's what, I, that's what America is craving. Yeah. <laughs> Although sure, with GM's leakage issues, I wouldn't trust a GM boat. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> damn. Oh, man. I like it. I, just, uh, I clicked on one of the links in the article that you uh, put in the, uh, the agenda. The CNBC one. This is my favorite. GM announced Maven as a personal mobility brand in January 2016. It was viewed as a competitor to Zipcar, which is something I only hear about in the AKAs in the Bodega Boys podcast. Apparently, it's a thing where you could just rent like a smart car or whatever. Yeah, I've seen them. When I went to California last, um, they had them there. And it, there was like like, and like all the so small like uh, strip mall stuff. You they would have a spot for them, so you go trade and go get one or pick one up kind of thing. Um, we never did them because they were kind of expensive. Yeah, apparently, you can go to Boulder, Colorado, and get a zip car. Well, but it smells like weed. So true. Like I am trying desperately to figure out what other cities these damn things were in. So far, all I've seen is Ann Arbor, Michigan, for sure. Uh, and like apparently, Ryan's- up in Canada. In uh, Chicago, uh, Ryan's idea, which was it was just seventeen Detroit suburbs. Perfect. Yeah, that's what and it was. Jackson, seventeen cities all, that were all next to each other. <laughs> it was just the state of Ohio. <laughs> yes. Oh man, a county and a half. Uh, but apparently, <laughs> they were not that that big because uh, they had forty five employees total during yeah, this. Yeah, they didn't but... have any fucking lawnmowers. If they had lawnmowers, it'd be a different story. Yeah, man, get that Boats. lawnmower audience. But. <sighs> It's just, re- it's just rebadged Honda mowers as a Chevy. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> that bow tie sticker's peeling off real good. I can still see the Honda. Still see the H. Why is it running so well? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, but in uh, good GM news. Yay! If there's such a there, thing. There yeah, is cool. apparently, Haggerty has claims they have a document that shows that 2025 will be the year the Corvette Zora comes out. Oh, boy. 
What does the Corvette Zora pack for us? A twin turbo 5.5 liter hybrid V8 making a thousand horsepower. Okay, you have my attention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do go on. <laughs> it's using, uh, so there's uh, the interesting, more interesting thing, I guess I should say about this is there's not going to be the only hybrid model. There will also be a oh. hybrid Corvette Grand Sport using a 6.2 liter hybrid, making Trace 600 can, horsepower. Can you say that again, but like slower and lower your no, voice a little bit? It's it's too He's excited. excited. Let him have this. 6.2 liter. 6.2 liter hybrid V8. Man. Making 600 horsepower. Oh. Man, when you send me the audio, I'm definitely going to adjust the pitch and throw some reverb in there. <laughs> Uh, time really? stamp is somewhere at some time. I don't have anything here. You <laughs> thank you, Zach. Nothing. Yes, thank you, Zach. <laughs> I appreciate that. Very helpful. Uh, oh, but yeah, so that for. is, there's also going to be the uh, LT7 motor, the 5.5 liter twin turbo V8, making 850 horsepower and ZR1 guys coming out in 2024. Hmm. And then the LT7 HP1, which is the hybrid version of that motor in the Zora. So my question here is, well, first off, there's a cage inside of that photo, which is pretty badass, actually. E. Uh, but my, my question is, what hybrid technology does Chevy have? They ha like, are they are they developing new technology here? Like, I yeah, never the thought Bolt. the Bolt wasn't that great of a car. But they have it. They had it. That's true. But like, where are they? Are they building new technology for this? Are they we... had the two-mode hybrid uh, Silverado and Escalade okay, so, and so, all that crap in 2011. Just, there you go. Yeah. So that, 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 I'm pretty sure that's a direct swap. It's applicable. It. Yeah. It's a direct swap. Yeah. They, so. uh, all, all those all those are early early tens uh, uh, Yukon hybrids are going to be uh, hot in demand for all the swaps. Yep. We'll just hear about go. it four years from now when they. Sh shut it down yep ah oh, well this is what you could have had but oh well and uh for ryan in the chat uh the grand sport and the corvettes for export are going to be the push rods the z06 the zr1 and the zora will apparently be five and a half liter twin cam v8s so Ooh, yep over whoa. The cam. yep the breaking tradition i know i knew it only took them what a, de or a century I mean, you could, didn't the uh, the C4 ZR1, didn't that have a twin cam V8? Mm. Or am I thinking of something else? Pretty sure it did. Hold on. Uh, I, I, I don't think it was the no base engine. engine. No, but it was still a Corvette you could buy from the factory. I'll be right back. I need more ice. Okay, you go get more ice. But... Uh, yes, uh, yes also, five. Jackson, the, the Bolt did introduction... I think the Bolt is still in production. Is that correct? Uh, the Bolt, I believe, still is. The Volt, I believe, is Who cares? Dead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yes, the LT5 was a How twin cam. That was like three seconds. It's a big-ass hunk of ice. I love it. Yeah, it's, it's cubular. <laughs> it's cubular. I love it. It's uh, fancy is what it is. Nice. Yes, uh, all aluminum LT5 was... Uh, a collaboration between GM, Mercury Marine, and Lotus. So there you go. Uh, cheers, AJ. Yeah, I, yep. I need. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll cheers you with my Chick Fil A cup. Um, yes, but uh, here we go. I'm gonna have to suddenly look into a C4 ZR1 now because of the Lotus connection. So <laughs> good luck, bud. I'm if you get one, I want to yeah. drive it. Have fun. Yep. Uh, uh, even I'll even if it tries driver. to kill you. I mean, especially if it tries to kill me at this point. I'll, I'll work on your Viper, but I won't work on your your Lotus. Where's Chirp? This is what we need him for. Exactly. Text him, Zach. That, that, like, where are you at? Because he seems to be the, old, get him to be the only one he's talking this. to. Oh, I paid him, by the way. I want to make that known. I gave him 50 bucks today on PayPal. Wow. <laughs> there, <laughs> there you go. A couple days ago. Nice. Yeah. Um, he, he just Ryan. Said, Thanks. So he doesn't have to break your ankles now, is what you're telling me. That's a little more money, but... And he's still going to show up and break his ankles, but... He's only going to break one. Yeah. He's going to break, break them both, both with that sweet, sweet crossover of his. 
<laughs> uh, Ryan says he actually cumulatively drove a Volt a few hundred miles and quite liking, quite liked it, offsetting his deep hatred for GM. Nice. Good to know. So, Ryan, yeah, a thousand, a thousand horsepower, though, does seem like a little too much for uh, for your average Corvette owner. Uh, it, it's, it's probably going to start like $120,000, so it'll push most buyers out of the market, I think. That it will. A little too much for Dale and his stimulus check. Yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> old. might be able to do it, but Dale, yeah. Dale's out for sure. Him and his plumbing business can't, can't afford that on his... Uh, he can't, yeah. he can't write off that kind of expense on his tax return for his plumbing business. Yeah, I don't think old Greg can graduate to being that big of a fish in the small pond. So, Yeah, well, something we uh, talked about last week that uh, is uh, back in the news again this week is the Kia Stinger. Yay! Yay! Yay. Except it's possibly going to die. Well, God damn it! <laughs> they lift their spirits last week, and this week we're going to drop it? Okay. Yeah, so last week we talked about them bumping up the horsepower, but the writing apparently was on the wall by them not swapping in that new 3.5 liter motor and keeping the 3.3 and just sticking an exhaust on it, is that they were trying to bump up sales without doing anything because they didn't couldn't invest any money in it. Because sales are down, people hate fun cars, and the mid-cycle refresh is still going to happen. But well, after that, then... Well, stop. damn it. Now I'm going to have to try to... I'm going to have to see if I can weasel my way into one of these. Because I really like the way they look. Go find sure. Justin McIntyre's. It's still in a dealership somewhere. Okay. Let's see what I can do. Uh, and the mileage probably brought down the depreciation a decent amount. Yep. Yeah, it's got like 50k on it, so you'll be fine. There we go. Perfect. Man, that's, that's there's actually three in my neighborhood, which is really surprising. But I see. Yeah, oh. because you live in Draper, it makes sense. Zach, get it right. It's Harriman. <laughs> uh, Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it was just teed up for me. I had to. Yeah, I just couldn't resist this time around. Uh well, so who who wants to mourn more cars? Oh, uh, I here. do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. I'm here for the sadness. Okay, be a sad boy for a little bit. Lay it on me. Uh, well, uh. don't worry. There's some good news after this. Yay! Uh, the Lexus GS is officially dead. <gasps> well, what? yes, we we uh, we really enjoyed their the the styling like when it came out in the 90s like it was a pretty revolutionary car oh yeah and like, then it, uh, lexus well, just I did lexus things i almost bought one I, I talked about that what almost actually exactly a year ago today i talked about buying one i went on a test drive one at the same dealership that permitted to uh beat sand when i offered them 500 bucks for that formula that i blew up on their test drive. <laughs> yeah that's a good story um, it is a good story. Uh, it, it was, yeah, it was a GS350. It was a really clean car, really nice. I preferred it way over the, the 3 Series I drove and the 5 Series that I drove. Granted, they were base model 3 Series and base model 5 Series, but still. And it, better than the E350 I drove. So mm-hmm. I am a little sad because I really, really, really enjoyed the car. Yeah, they were, they were really awesome. But uh, unfortunately, they were, the, uh, the GS is a victim of uh, the more popular Stablemate, the ES. So, the all-wheel drive. Not only camera. that, of yeah, of course yeah. you've got you've got uh, crossovers taking oh, over yeah. most of it. But <laughs> yeah, with Lexus, they introduced the ES just this last model year with all-wheel drive, like further cannibalizing it all. Yep, which is a real shame because oof, they yeah, they're going out with GS sedans for the first three months of this year. God. Yeah, yeah, oof. A nice car, but they're going yeah. out with a special edition with, you know, like black trim, because nice. that's that's all Lexus knows how to do. Yep. Uh, the it's going to be called the Black Line Special Edition here, but in Japan they're calling it the Eternal Touring Special Edition. <laughs> what the fuck, really? I love that so much more. I hate the Black Line Special Edition. Give me if, Eternal Touring. If somebody buys one here in the U.S. Please, please get bad shoes shipped over. Yeah, please just, I mean, just black it out and call it the Eternal Touring because that would be amazing. 
I'll support it. Yep. I'm done I'll, for that. <laughs> I'll even throw 10 bucks your way if you do it. There you go. Zach's got, Zach's got a 10 on it. Just what you need to put you over the edge. Yep. I already lost uh, anyway, the good news out of all of this is there was spied testing a Land Rover Defender with a V8. Yay! Sweet! Currently <laughs> only available with a four-cylinder and six-cylinder option. Uh, in the family, they've got the five-liter V8 in Land Rover, so, I mean, yeah. it only makes sense, and it was out spied testing, so... So how do we know Bring it, it, on. Was, it had a V8? Um, if you read the article there, uh, <laughs> did Zach, you're, then... You're asking a lot, you're asking a lot out of us. <laughs> <laughs> so they actually oh, oh, ran, yeah, they ran the registration ah, yeah. they actually ran the registration based on the license plate and because of where it was located that actually told them that plate number told them it was a 5 liter V8 underneath hmm. the hood and it is a prototype vehicle plus it <laughs> has the telltale dual exhaust exit versus the single exit on all the other um, Land Rover <laughs> Defenders it, it is a and- Oh, no, go ahead, Zach. The front end and the side profiles are really growing on me for the this. That those back taillights are a disgrace to mankind. <laughs> yeah, they they are a bit of a war crime. Yes. Is this all like off center taillights? Uh, well, hey, at, at least at least the license plate is centered in the vehicle. It's not yeah. off to one side. That is very nice. I just like the very plain like script prototype vehicle stickers on the front and on the rear just there's just something so british and charming about that yeah and it's where that's not all camoed up which i guess all they're doing is testing engines nothing else right yeah so here's that and uh speaking of off-road excitement uh some some things were afoot down in vegas with bj baldwin his girlfriend and two dudes who ran up on them yeah, not smart people. They did not no. know who they were crossing. No. They BJ... have not seen his Instagram. Yes, hell. that is correct. Yeah, Woo. BJ Baldwin uh, and his girlfriend were having were having dinner at uh, In-N-Out on, uh, Tropic- at the In-N-Out on Tropicana and Apache Road, a, an In-N-Out we've been to. And yes. um, well, The craziest thing about this story, though, what In-N-Out is open at 2 a.m. amid... The uh, COVID nineteen crisis. Oh, yeah. if, who knows? Apparently, apparently this one was. I, I mean, the mayor of Las Vegas wants to turn that entire city into a giant petri dish because fuck it. So, whatever. This doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Anyway, so these guys run up on two very experienced marksmen. Yeah. Uh, marksmen and markswoman, I should say. Yeah. Uh, they train all the time. Like they. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, half his Instagram is him doing shoots and him doing like quick draws and yeah, it like of all yeah, the people I would he's literally been on. training for this for his yeah. whole life. Yeah, uh, these two dudes came upon them as they were eating as BJ and his girlfriend were eating dinner on the, uh, the tailgate of his truck. Words were exchanged. Words became uh, a lot louder and heated, and well, gunfire was exchanged and. Um, those two dudes who ran up on them, only one of them ran off. So, yeah, one of them is now deceased uh, yep. because uh, BJ Baldwin is is a good shot. Yeah, he is a huge <laughs> Second Amendment advocate. He has a valid concealed carry permit, and he has been cooperating with Las Vegas police throughout this entire thing. So, I mean, why wouldn't he though? If yeah. exactly. So, yeah. So there's. There's that, folks. Just if you're gonna run up on somebody, just do a little bit of research real quick. Just hit what, that Instagram. What I don't get is why BJ, because he's like, from what I, I haven't met him personally, but from what I've heard, he's actually a pretty great guy, like personally. Uh, so who what, knows? What could I mean, somebody have against him? Uh, who know? They were just there. It looked like an easy target. Who knows? I mean, so. but he he drives around in that lifted Toyota, so like they had to know it was somebody. I mean, maybe, or maybe just somebody with a, with a fat wallet. So yeah. I'm sure more details will come out as you know, the police do their investigation, but yep. It is, it is not ours to investigate. We are here to wildly speculate though. So. <laughs> it's what we do best. Damn I'm right. Sure, 
I'm sure Donut Operator will have a video about it here in a week or so. There we go. Ah, well, we do have one last bit of news. Trent, you'd care to fill us in on this one. Uh, Ford surprisingly shows some restraint. Uh, they ha- are just on a tear of STing all the things. Because why uh, not? Well, yeah, it's profit centers for them, but somehow they are not going to make an ST version of the Ford Escape. I, huh. which is kind of surprising and yet at the same time not surprising because in my personal experience, the demographic that drives the newer escapes are older women. But they're not interested in an ST. In Harriman, yeah, I could Harriman. see why you would think that. Mm-hmm. It's in Salt Lake too. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you know they've got the Edge ST, they've got the... Um, the Explore ST. So they're doing the ST thing to their SUVs, but they decided the Escape was not for them. So, I mean, never say never, but as of right now, that's not in the product plan. So, huh. Well, that's that's a, a, a tragedy if you're looking for a, a hot Escape, but um, hey, you can always head over to Europe and get yourself a Puma ST. So I think a hot yep. Escape is a bit of an oxymoron. I mean, well, you know, I mean, they depending the, the on the escape, context in which you throw that in there. The escape still is offered with a 250 horse motor EcoBoost, so I mean, it's it's not bad. Oh. Yeah, well, well goddamn, <laughs> Jesus, that's that's. But if you're looking for 300s, look elsewhere. <laughs> look to the internet. Look to that dude on the forum who I'm sure has a hot tune for it. Yes, crackle pop tune. Exactly. Oh, I want to hear an escape of the crackle and pop. I gotta say, so one of the one of the worst cars I've ever heard. I was on a drive last summer, and it was a EcoBoost Mustang <laughs> with just the loudest exhaust and tune. And the guy was so proud of this thing. It was Mustang convertible, and honestly, my ears were just hurting. It, there was no there was no redeemable quality about the sound of that vehicle. The EcoBoost in general just doesn't sound good at all. I mean, it's, yeah. Uh, I will say this. There is one dude who comes out to uh, the NASA Utah events. His name is Henry Hill. He has an EcoBoost Mustang. And somehow that thing is legal for American Iron. So just imagine, if you will, V8 Mustang and Camaro. And I believe the Challenger is also eligible for that. And then suddenly... Crackling, popping, making all sorts of whoosh pacha noises. <laughs> on the Mustang. So I just I just think that's great. Hilarious. I, I did piss off a guy with an eco boost when I rolled up next to him in my Mustang, the one I had. Yes. I, I made the joke, oh, they look the same on the underneath the hood. <laughs> the dude didn't talk to me for the rest of the car. He refused to acknowledge my existence, <laughs> which I think I won. I think by that I had won. Yeah, you did. You did. You shut him down. Like, that's that's exactly what you need to do. But it was funny, though, because from the front pulley to the radiator is the exact same amount of space between his engine and my engine in the car. It's like, it's literally this much space between the engine and the the, the, um, the cross number for the radiator support. Hmm. Yeah. The more you know. The more you know. Exactly. Well, uh, this week's question. Oh, and of course, Jackson fucking calls me out. If he owns a Burt Mustang, he has a problem. Fuck. It's his wife's car. <laughs> Damn. I own a convertible Mustang. <laughs> you uh, say it loud and proud, buddy. Ryan says hey, this you know perfectly. What, Zach? It's, it's 2020. Good for you. That's, oh, yeah. <laughs> Live your you. truth, bud. More power to you. <laughs> Ryan in the chat says this perfectly. <laughs> Eco Sting owner. Yeah, honestly, it's better than the 5.0 when you think about it. I mean, I have, I've had that conversation before. <laughs> We've all had that conversation with somebody. <laughs> uh, uh, speaking we, of Mustangs, I have to tell, I had a, the most aggressive sales guy I've ever met at a Mustang dealership um, a couple months ago. So to set up, I was working as a mobile cell phone technician. And uh, one of my appointments was at this dealership, one of the salesmen there. And I walk up, I'm a little early. They're like, you can have a seat in the waiting room. So I'm checking out like the new Roush Mustangs. Yeah. 
And this dude comes out of nowhere and like pokes over my shoulder. He's like, Hey, checking out that new Roush. And I'm like, yeah, just it's here. I'm looking <laughs> at it. And, uh, he's like, Oh yeah, yeah. They're, they're pretty nice. He starts throwing stats at me and I'm like, yeah, that's, that's cool, dude. And he's like, so, uh, you know, what, what brings you in today? Are you thinking of buying or financing? I'm like, actually, I'm here just fixing, you know, somebody's <laughs> cell phone. He's like, oh, that's cool. It's cool. He's like, so uh, if you don't mind me asking, how much do you make? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> yeah. Just, and I'm like, yeah, you know, so I was like talking some numbers with him and he's like, yeah, so I'm like, I'm going to go run some numbers and I'll be right back. I'll be right back. And I'm like, okay. no, sir, please do not. <laughs> so I, I, I'm, I'm fixing dude's phone. And, uh, you know, finish, finish up. And as soon as I finish the transaction, I'm like, here's your phone, give him the warranty information. His buddy comes walking up with like a packet and he's like, so I ran some numbers and like, if you put this much down you can finance and you know, you can do this much monthly and, and he starts going off and I'm like, yeah, okay, oh. that's great. And, uh, he's like, you thinking about trading in or <laughs> wow. You know, yeah. He, he asked that wow. after he runs the numbers. Yeah. That's and, and he's, like, amazing. Rookie he's, like, what are you, he's like, what are you driving? And I'm like, oh, I've got the green sob out there. He's like, oh, yeah, we'll give you like 2500 uh, $2, for that. <laughs> no questions wow. asked. We'll get, no. We can use that as a down payment. And I'm like. So no. that guy is definitely being fired at the end of that day if he doesn't sell that car. Yeah, he's. <laughs> Dude's yeah, chasing it, hard. The, the manager was like, hey, dude, we got to let you go. You're not making sales. He goes, well, if I sell a car. Okay. If, you I, sell, if, if I sell, sell a car route, by the end of the week. Dude, he is definitely like, he's that dude who's staying up till like 3 a.m. watching University of Hawaii play Fresno State, just <laughs> trying to get that money back. <sighs> uh, I was here in Tennessee, actually, Ford dealership over here in Tennessee. God damn. Uh, that's great. That is amazing. Well, you know what else is amazing? Headlights. Uh, don't <laughs> if, worry. I'm... If they're the right headlights. Exactly. So this oh, week, oh, because... God, I, just, uh, I just broke things. I'm so sorry. I <laughs> broke things in the thing. Okay. What? What did you, what did you do? What? I think I moved uh, racing mongooses around. You did, but it's fine. I, can I don't know where it. it goes, though. There. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what I did. I don't know what you did either, it, but it, it's not worth stopping the conversation for. Uh, it always so, is, always. Uh, because AJ posted a Donut Media video talking about the the best cars with uh, pop up up and down headlights, I just oh, wanted to down headlights. I just wanted to know everybody's opinions. Do you like the pop up up and down headlights, or do you like them fixed joints? So, let us go around the the chat real quick before we get into uh, some responses from, you know people who are not actively on this video call so all right i think i'm done coughing now so <clears throat> don't let that stop you yeah so uh there's only one answer to this and it's the correct answer and uh <clears throat> better aerodynamics with the uh fixed headlights done move on <laughs> all right that is pop-up pop headlights are should have been left in the 80s and never been brought back but they soldiered and, and, on for so very long on some cars. No, and history repeats itself. So in five years, you're all going to hate them anyway. So let's just move on. Wow, fighting words. Fighting words. Man. So or, I've only... It's not fighting words. It's the truth. I'm older than you. False. I've lived through this. Wrong. All right? <laughs> Wrong. Okay, boomer. Shut up. Use the, use the wisdom that I have Damn. given you. Trent, I'm, I'm a guest. I'm, I appreciate that you've invited me here. So I'm, I'm in your house. I'm going to give you that respect i'm not gonna not gonna challenge you on this one i love where this is going oh that okay i, I but, uh, that's the, i'm surprised that's where it stopped i was waiting i was waiting for yeah. that but, but, yeah. but, <laughs> but. In, in, in the spirit of gavin fuck you Trent. there it is i i will uh, take just, i will accept that from you i it's disrespect when zach does it to me because he's a regular but since you're a guest i'll allow it I so, um, you're just that, so wrong, though. A, a friend of mine. In no, the chat I'm just, not. But yeah, you are. So, for my I have the power to end this and to permanently mute you. So, I'm just saying. Me or AJ? <laughs> I'm talking. I'm fighting with AJ right now. Oh. So, well, um, maybe I'll. Uh, can I talk now? Yeah. So, 
do you ever wait for your turn to talk? Uh, Just talk. Hey, Mike, do you want to go next? (laughs) First, I just want to show a a, a, a pop-up headlights are kind of a situational thing for me. Uh, This got brought up in Motoring United. Um, I do enjoy uh, pop-up, like take an S13. If I were to ever get a coupe, I would go full on Brandon and Sylvia knows on that thing. But if I got a hatch, which I would actively fight to not get and would try to sell as soon as I signed the title, I would definitely keep the pop-ups. You know, same thing with uh, a Corolla because it came U.S. We only ever got pop-ups, but other parts of the world, they had fixed headlights. I'd rock the uh, fixed headlights on a, on a coupe. What if I had a hatch pop-ups? So it just kind of depends on the car. So the, the only car I would keep any pop-ups on would be something Italian. Because, yeah. I mean, like a C5 really? vet, I'm swapping those out for fixed lights, you know, like an S13. The, the, We're going the Sylvia front so end. Like, with pop ups. The F40 looks like it has like an, it looks like it has like I'm not, called? I'm not Bifocals. disagreeing with you, but I'm just saying I would keep it on there just for, you know, resale purposes. Okay, I want to go now. Uh, okay. I'm also going to have a, a theme song playing in the background. Oh, God, here I we go. Almost... Okay. Yes. Yeah. I just That's muted Zach. <laughs> no, You're back, Zach. Muted. You're back. I can fix on my side. So, um, I've actually only owned two cars with pop-up headlights, which I thank you, Matt, in the, the, the comments for reminding me, because I thought I only owned one. The Rally Corolla and MR2, which I realize are probably basically the same front end design, so they're probably the same mechanics. Yeah. Um, I got, I got my MR2 in the shop. The first thing I did before I even checked the engine was made sure those lights went up and down. There you go. Those lights go up and down, the car is fine in my book. Yeah. This is for person for me in the chat. There you go. MR2 um, for you. That is for so, buddy Matt. Matt is an amazing human being. There you go, he Matt. I gave is, you gave you some I, MR2. Uh, Matt, I will talk about my engine later to you, but my, my car is getting close to being done. Uh, where was I going with this? Um, yes, I'm are, are awesome on almost every car. Like, think about the Opel GT. How yep. fucking cool yeah. are those? Um, you can't about... do that to me, Zach. I was about to say a good thing about the Opel GT, but out of principle, now I have to say I hate the Opel GT's pop-up headlights. I mean, I mean so technically, Dan Chalinski said it in the chat first. Yeah, so. I, I, I know. I was going to mention that and agree with him. But then so Zach had to say it, s- so I have to disagree with him. So you were Dan, just you're s- wrong too. You were Trent- just going to steal his idea, and I wholeheartedly approve of that. Because that's Trent, what you're wrong, and I'll is. tell you why. Uh, Trent, I'll tell you why you're wrong. Because your whole argument is based solely on performance. But everybody knows, fifty percent of appeal no. makes a good car is no. aesthetics. No, and pop up headlights are aesthetics. Flames make your car go faster. If you have flame, no. it goes faster. Pop up no. headlights make them go faster. That AJ, my only argument is not based on aerodynamics. That is just that's a main component. However, I think they look awful on most every car. The Opel GT was going to be an exception until Zach, you know, and then, uh, <laughs> and then, like I said, I wouldn't change it on an Italian car because. But they look the worst on the Italian cars. They're weird. I'm not little, saying like... I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying I wouldn't change them right. because well, for of example, resale value. F40 looks like looks like bifocals. Daytona Mass Pantera looks stupid as fuck. Have you ever seen a Daytona Mass Pantera swap with fixed beams? They look way better. Yeah, Countach, Diablo. Yeah, even Mira. goes on. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I agree. They don't look good. And they're, 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 they're like Italian they, ladies. Like that's li- that's in general glasses. why I hate pop-up headlights because they don't look good. Okay, well let's think about some cool cars with pop-up headlights. Mark III RX7, Mark IV RX7. Uh, the Mark Nissan. IVs look way better with the pop-ups than they do with the fixed headlights. My shop we have fixed and uh, pop-ups. The pop-ups look way fucking better. The only reason we swapped to fix is to have air intakes because because you can't do air intakes with pop-ups. Actually, you know what? If you took out the headlight out of the pop-up, just leave it up, and it would act like a little scoop. That actually yeah. pretty cool. I'll, I'll suggest that next time. 
Or like, or like, do the lazy eye. Have it like uh, Jackson uh, Diablo first yeah. generation or second generation. Yeah. I, I would Diablo. support a little lazy eye, but that, that's, that's lazy. Eye, you have to admit that lazy eyes on like the S chassis and yeah, the, the RX sevens, they look good. They look, yeah, they do. I, 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 I like a little, a little lazy eye on uh, NA. I think. Oh. Yeah. I mean, if the NA Miata didn't have the full-on pop-up headlights, you couldn't put the big googly eyes on there, and it wouldn't look even more adorable than it already does. For example, the Prelude, the, the, those body lines oh. with them down. Oh, oh Mike, my, my, Mike's agreeing with me. Here. Well, I mean, with I, I them mean, yeah. down, exactly, because they are and, not popped up. And when you pop them up, they still look fine because the, the, the Prelude is so angular, and with the headlights up, they still maintain their body lines. I will shut this chat down. All right, no, you, like you're wrong. You you're not okay with being wrong, and I'm letting you know that right now, man. <laughs> and and is... your only argument right now is performance. We how I... many times do I have to say it is not just performance? How many times do I say they look awful? Oh man, that's muted. Done. All moving, right, moving on. I am Let's... proud of what I started. <laughs> yes, Congrats. viva la resistance. Good job, AJ. Uh, so we put uh, we put this to a vote on our Facebook he tore page. A spike between, <laughs> and he's gone again. <laughs> fuck. fuck you. <laughs> this is great. Fuck you. Anyway, we put it to a vote on our Facebook page. We got fifty-eight votes. The uh, your options were pop fuck up, you. up and down, and nope. Featuring photos of Brandon's S thirteen for nope. And Victor Franco's Corolla for pop up, up and down, <laughs> and uh, the results overwhelmingly favor the pop up, up and down, forty five to thirteen. Aesthetic sells cars. I, I, I know, I don't want to get muted for saying this, but AJ. <laughs> Although I will say, we should Trent, do a pop it, up and down headlights TikTok. We we missed that oh. whole thing first of all, but a uh, pop up, up and down headlights <gasps> TikTok. <laughs> Uh, no, I am wow. not Come on. zoomer enough for that. Jesus. Although I will say, while Pop Up Up and Down has the majority of votes and a lot of clout with it, uh, Trent's not exactly alone with a bunch of lunatics on this island. Uh, it's him, it's Brandon Kuhn, Bobby Powell, Travis Robinson, Josh Carter of Flat Out Automotive, and uh, the one, the only, the he's going to take you to a dark room and do stuff to you, Josh Hadlock. So oh. <laughs> Brandon owns an NA. Why is he against him? He deleted What's the pop-ups. He, he, what? Yeah. Brandon Coon. Just what sell the NA it? then because that's that's as no, much the NA no. as anything else. Uh anyway, Brandon's a hero amongst we men. Do, we do have some responses. Uh Trent obviously said big nope. Uh Devin Creasy, who owns a car with pop up up and down headlights, asks how is this even a question? And Joey Harrington. Gave us possibly the best answer we could have ever gotten on this, which is headlights. So, yep. <laughs> I'm going to have to assume those are fixed in place. Thank you, Joey, for that vote. I mean, they're, te- I mean, they're, they're, I mean, I just put headlights question mark. So <laughs> he just responded with headlights. So, I mean, I mean, done. valid response. Thank you, Joey. So, uh, and NASA Utah enthusiast Dave Kazarian posted a, uh, a meme of Mr. Rogers doing some popping and locking. So <laughs> think he enjoys the pop up, up and downs. Uh, Colton Alt says, please don't forget about the, uh, the Porsche 928. So Wrong, guys. Oh, where's that picture of that uh, Porsche that I posted with the pop ups retrofit to the newer uh, body style. I Everybody liked that one. I have no, I don't idea. remember this. I feel like I would remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It I wasn't, I, I think it was in Motoring United. Hang on. Yeah, you go. Mike, go ahead. Okay, yeah. I mean, we had uh, in Utah Japanese classic cars, we had a couple of people. Uh, we had, I think we had at least one response in there. So let one? me. Wow, there Oh, we have three comments. Holy shit. Good for them. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Ben Allred, I do like pop up headlights. However, I feel they are limited, or at least it was never explored in their visual design. The shape compared to solid headlights. I do have to give a lot of points to pop ups for the sleek look cars have when they're hidden, though. Uh, Brandon Kuhn, considering I've deleted the pop-ups on the Miata, you know where I stand. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's – there we go. And then uh, Kit. There it is. Look at that. That's good. That's nice. That's that's, That's pretty sweet. That is sex right there. 
That it is. Uh, Kit, I actually am not the biggest fan of pop-ups. Works on certain cars, but hey, they're pretty cool. And then I know there's something in Motoring United. Why am I trying to do that there? Uh, all I gotta say is, based on all your y'all answers, uh, I know who's getting Christmas cards this year. Yay! I was never getting one to begin with, so I'm okay with that. True. <laughs> I don't send out Christmas cards, so. <laughs> and you're gonna receive one from me and feel like an asshole. <laughs> I probably won't. Damn. But he's got enough money; he doesn't have to feel like an asshole. Yeah, he's trying to shove a billionaire. <laughs> You see Damn. that he's the one who can actually afford a backdrop. It, so. it is a paper backdrop that is gaffer taped directly it to the wall. So bad. <laughs> it's so, hey, what gaffer it tape is superior to duct tape. It yes, one hundred percent. Oh yes, and in uh, Motoring United, Joseph Giuliano says he prefers pop ups. When it comes to the S thirteen, I like the coupe with pop ups and the hatch with the Sylvia front end. That's where that came from. And uh, me and AJ kind of no, yelled things at each up. other. Please. To- I mean, it was it was delightful. Maybe we'll play catch someday. It was it was fun in the moment, but we'll leave it there. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, it was a definitely in the moment thing. And then I'm not sure if I got any responses on. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Uh, nobody said anything on the post I put on my Facebook page. So, although uh, the Michael Beck method, hey, you're cooped up in your house and you want to learn how to play guitar, go ahead and give uh, the Michael Beck method a like on Facebook. It is, uh, uh, you know. Sorry, keep going. Oh, yeah, uh, the uh, the theme song for this podcast was done by a band called Methuselah Worm. Mike is the lead guitarist and kind of the creative guy behind that. So, yeah, he's uh, he's kind of out of work right now, so he's willing to teach you how to play guitar. So, there you go. That is the thing. But um, um, We've got uh, quite a few comments in the uh, In the chat. chat. <laughs> uh, them, please which, don't read. First of all, anybody who is listening to this, you are missing out on a lot of the experience. Go check this out on YouTube. Come every week. Subscribe on Patreon so you get this because my <laughs> angry is, rant is so much is, more, so much better when you when you, you can need see the my visual face. component. So much yes. more poignant. Yeah. Yes, and you get awesome chats going on with AJ. Oh, yeah. Usually, and you get the, to watch me drink on again, yeah. on my fifth one now. And I do, Trent. Before you get into okay. this a little bit too far. Mm-hmm. Uh, Taylor from Low State says pop ups from Finna Pop Off. I just wanted to get that out there. I wanted to get that on record. And a boy. We were gonna go thank th- you. We were gonna go through that, but okay. Uh, just jump yeah. ahead. I I mean that's I mean, go um, ahead, start with the opinion you were going so, to steal from Dan. No, no, no. <laughs> Joe, who we saw earlier, uh, in the background, if you were watching. Oh, what did Joe uh, say? Pop ups are awesome. Um, Ryan says pop-ups needlessly slice up pedestrians and that's pretty metal. I'll, I'll give him that. I, that's a point for him though. Cause that's fucking metal. Mm-hmm. I, I will give them one point for that. All right. There you go. One point for the pop-ups. These days. Yeah. Mark it. There yeah. we go. Anyway, uh, Jackson says pop-ups are good on a Japanese car cause he's racist. Uh, <laughs> the, he's wow. not wrong though. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he can be two things. Mark three <laughs> Supra, Mark three RX seven. He's not wrong. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. No MR two on the video, and <laughs> and then uh, I showed the picture of the yeah, MR two. Yeah. Josiah said Mira, uh, Daniel Chalinski, who was the original person <laughs> who came up with this, that I was going to give credit to. But you all cut me off before I could say anything because you're welcome. Zach jumped on it, but you're welcome. The original Daniel Tulinski. Um, best pop up headlights are the Opal GT. If you think otherwise, you are wrong. And I will finally relent that I agree with him, even though it goes in the face of uh, Zach or agrees uh. with Zach, I should say. Uh, but he says a little bit later. Um, the, also, the fact that the Opal GT headlights are 100% mechanical with a lever that you push or pull makes them even better. And I, again, I <laughs> that's bitching. That that's yeah. super cool. That's that's hella bitching. Oh yeah. man. Um, Ryan says Lamborghini Diablo. Uh, Dan loves him and AW11. I mean, who uh, doesn't? Yeah. And then Jackson says Diable. Diable. Uh, 
to corrects it later to Diablo. He said uh, it in Spanish. my spelling earlier. Fuck you, Jackson. No, no, he just said it in Spanish. That's all it is. Okay. Uh, yes, there we go. <laughs> Diablo. Nailed it. Diablo in Spanish is Diablo. Yeah, okay. El Diablo. <laughs> Diablo is Diablo. But El Diablo, funny. aka that, the Diablo. That's, that's why we were laughing, Zach, is... We hey, didn't have to hit I'm always the, one hit. joke behind. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, Taylor from Low State says S12. Uh, the Daniel Twinsky says C4 vet flip lights are bomb too. Uh, Just because they're so fucking extra. Yeah. Then Josiah says Supra. Uh, Mike randomly throws in 928. Anyone? It's when you. It's when the three of you are yelling back and forth. So I just sat that one out and just got in the chat for a minute. <laughs> I'm telling you, aesthetics sells cars. Yes, I agree. And aesthetics <laughs> it, prove that. Look at all, every car on the market nowadays. How many well, pop ups are there? Uh, that's, that's also actually pedestrian a safety, safety, safety standard. Yeah, that's less uh, of no, an aesthetic. No, thing. It's, it's because we're less metal as a country. I had it's an idea of pop ups for the standard thing. day. Okay, hear me out here. What you do is you retrofit the Opal GT flip headlights into the bubbles of Nissan Jukes. They're not going to kill anyone. Zach's done it. Zach has saved pop Zach up has up saved pop ups. Oh my god. This is. Man. Brilliantly. Zach, I couldn't have said and, it better. Oh, Andrew Jackson, you have come in at a, at a fun time in the podcast. If you could have come in a little bit earlier, though, my God in heaven. Um, we've got some good news though uh, oh. about about uh, Jackson and Zach's friendship. Fuck up. No, don't read this out loud. I will. Oh, Jackson says I take everything back. <laughs> I do not know Zach and will not associate with him any further after the TikTok comment. Oh my god! Damn. And Zach's gone. Damn, left you for dead, son. <laughs> just ah, uh, just put two in the back of the head. Just there it is. Two in the chest, one in the head, left you for dead. Man. Zach, how do you feel about that? Left the gun, that took the cannoli. Me, He's a, he, he was my best friend, but now it's all to, it's all to Tesla will. Dude, no. Jackson, yeah. it's all to Tesla will. That's not a bad horse to bet you, to bet on in the friendship race. I'm not gonna lie. If anything, that's a significant upgrade. <laughs> Good fuck, Jackson. You heard it from here. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Here from first, folks. Uh, yeah, uh, Andrew Jackson's a fan of the NA Miata because of the pop-ups, and also because he had one. So he had a pretty rad one too. It was pretty cool. So anyway, let's let's leave this contentious topic yes. and talk about something that uh is slightly more contentious. What's, what's his name? You know, oh the the one that called, left us. Yeah, exactly oh. him. Uh, I can't he remember be, his face anymore. I I just kind of remember the him not being able to say the, the email address without having a stroke. Huh. Did, 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 did he used to smoke? No, he was always picking up smokes. Yeah, that was always his excuse to disappear to Guatemala or wherever. Uh, anyway, I really think we were his secret family. And then we got found out, so he can't associate yeah. with us anymore. Yeah. He's in witness protection now. God. Anyway, um, Formula One is outlining what they feel will be the 2020 season. And it all starts behind closed doors in Austria. Yeah, they are hell-bent on making this thing happen. And a lot of teams are hell-bent on making this thing happen because Claire Williams said, Williams F1 needs a race season to happen so they can still continue to exist. Yeah, it's really all about the financial motives. and oh, God, yeah. To to be fair, I think uh, there's uh, you can't just live forever with you know fear. So yeah. let's get let's get the season started July fifth in Austria. And mm -hmm. uh, you know what, uh, F one has a plan. They have a plan in place to run fifteen to eighteen races if they can start July fifth in Austria. Yep. Um, yeah, this would also include a Silverstone event, a British GP at Silverstone with also no crowd that was just announced yes. today. So that would uh, be only the, like the second week of that. I think it's yeah. the week right after Austria. Yeah. Like it's uh, cause yeah, France has been canceled. So yep. Yep. But uh, basically what they would do is they would just run everything in Europe and then go to Eurasia, then Asia, 
and then the Americas, and then continue around the globe and finish in Abu Dhabi, as is tradition for the last, I don't know, few years, or however the hell yeah. long they've been racing at Yas Marina. It's better than jumping all around and, you know, the logistics oh, yeah. of that sure. all. Yeah. So, oh yeah, honestly, it's a smart idea what they should should do in the first place. Yeah, I mean, it makes perfect sense to just be like, okay, so we're going to start here and then work our way around in kind of a way that makes sense. But, you know, whatever. So who, who am I to, uh, to tell them what to do? But, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, you should. But <laughs> well, listen. I mean, I vote for you. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that, that's man. They want they want to do this. And just a reminder, for this to be a full on FIA championship season, they need to do a minimum of eight races on three different continents. So that's they need to at least I think they can pull that off easily. Oh, super easy. Like I mean, even if you really wanted to do so you do 3 in Europe, you do a couple of the Gulf ones, you do like Japan and you can do the US and Mexico and Sao Paulo and voila, there's your eight. Hey, you and know you what? All the f- Vegas is completely deserted. Let's do one on the strip like Let's do a street race. There it is. Street circuit on the strip. I'd vote, I'd be down for that. Man, I would I would illegally watch that. That would be that would be I something. Would drive there. That would be pro- that would probably be so. It, in theory, it could be so much better than the last time they went to Las Vegas. But also, yes. it could be so much worse than the last time they went to Vegas. So also, yes, have, yep. have half the track go into the garage of the Bellagio and then come back out the other side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, that'd be great. Just watch people get lost. Just like, but wait. <laughs> Somebody gets high centered. No, no, no. Park. They'll they'll end uh, or have a uh, have the pits in the garage of the Bellagio <laughs> for levels. But you have to find parking. Ah, oh, <laughs> damn it! And you Just have to carry enough speed. High yeah, you have to carry enough yep. speed to not get high centered. <laughs> yeah, you have to make, make it, it over. Jump. Jesus. It's like this the turn in what was it, Malaysia? What which track was that? That where they would, they would they'd jump it. A few of them. Well, well, they ended up <laughs> fixing it like a couple seasons ago, and they end up I think end up wrecking Max and Strap like in twenty seventeen. Damn. It uh, all gets stuck behind the little old lady trying to put her casino card <laughs> into the parking meter reader. <laughs> uh, I'm a frequent gambler here. Just cut to Kimmy Reichen and saying. Fuck this. <laughs> Just playing blackjack. <laughs> Just like, nope. This is That's what I'm worth doing. it. That's worth oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kimmy, where are you? Shut the fuck up. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> He's splitting tens like a fucking hero. <laughs> oh, anyway, we do have, uh, we have some more racing news. It's a bit of a mixed bag, much like our actual news. But um, So currently in DTM, there are two manufacturers it is bmw and it is audi but after this year audi will not no longer be in dtm they're going to be focusing their efforts on customer racing programs which is always awesome because they do really really well with that and also formula e take that as you will um yeah between uh, the whole volkswagen pulling out of anything that isn't electrified and uh you know this apocalypse that we're in that's not really helping the case so yeah, after this year, Audi's going to be out of DTM, which is a shame because they had some fun cars. Nobody or, tells or one this, out. but Formula E is actually kind of cool. I mean, it, it... Have you not watched? Don't, I've been on board the defense don't several hey, times. Hey, we, we have an official position here at Cam Auto Mag <laughs> that we, we don't support Formula E. And I have the... The mute button here, so just they sound watch, like they, they sound like pod head. racers. It's so cool. We don't it's support true. Formula E until somebody else tells us that it's cool, and then we'll get on it. It's okay, true. but hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold, 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 hold. What? I, I actually rewatch all the race highlights of Formula E. I think it's kind of cool. That's why I continuously try to push Formula E topics. I'm actually just living a lie. <laughs> Okay, Mike. Hey guys, Mike and, what's up? What's up, guys? Mike, Hi, Mike Zach. and Trent, though. Hang on. It's like serious question, Mike and Trent. Would it be more cool if the cars were like self-driven? 
My no, biggest hang not. up with no, Formula not. E no. is that they're not like they still have to do, be on like purpose built circuits and a lot of like weird like street courses. Okay, I would really love to see them on like because the battery know there's changes some sh- and like yeah. no more no more battery changes. It's all Hang on. Oh, yeah, here's 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 my my uh, my my two cents though. Make them like self driven cars, and then uh, put like obstacles and like have explosions and stuff because then the cars can blow up and you don't have to like mourn somebody. <laughs> so it would be like right? battle bots hold, except hold with a race. Yes, hold up, yes, yes! battle bots. There or, we go. Uh, did you guys ever you, play a sp- hey, hold, second? Hold on, you had me at explosions. There right? we go. Right, and then so, like the viewers can like pay a little extra money and like set off like explosions on the side of the track. Like yeah, you have to time it as you're going by. All right, on the, hold on. The rapids, hold on. Where I'll rapids, where you can, like, Who do we have to talk to to get Mike to take over Formula One and AJ to take over Formula E? Like, <laughs> I mean, I'll if, if I mean James I'm sure Curry they'll wants... take a significant pay cut over Bernie Ecclestone. I mean, you'd probably do that job for a mill a year. I'm sure, Mike. I mean, I'd do it for like ten percent less, whatever Chase Carey's making right now. The current head of Formula One. I'll do it like, for a fiver. Yeah. I mean, there you go. I, there you go. I, I will. It's all about I saving will, money. I'll fix Formula One. You may not like it, but I'll fix it. Damn it. Anyway, and, and, and the fun thing about Formula E two is the drivers are fucking trash. They all are. Not all, but most of them are. Have you like, noticed this, AJ? Um, I, I feel like they're bit. second tier drivers. Yeah, like, like a lot of the or Formula even third tier drivers. A lot of the Formula E guys are like they're kind of bottom of the barrel. They're mid shelf. Yeah, yeah, they were like, you know, it's it's dudes like Stoffel Van Dorn who is still like I believe he's still in the Mercedes drivers program, so he could come back up to Formula One. But you know, there's just it's no like the home NBA G League, like. Or, yeah, I can't. I'm Joe Johnson. And I, I can't. I can't do it. I can't crack the NBA anymore. But you know, what? I'm gonna try the G League. And you know what? There's a chance I could come back. But really, my career's over. So this is all I've got left. Here's mean, another well, idea: make them remote controlled and have the drivers be able to like have like set up guns or something. Something. Either they that, really- or have them have it be like the development for the young drivers to come up to Formula One kind of thing. That, you know? The that's problem with the, three is. the pro yeah the problem with that is there's already like an established I know. hierarchy. I know but, there I mean, is, but it's I mean it could. My no, that's a good is, idea though. Have them cut their teeth in Formula E and then yeah. Well, and there you go. Formula E can be a stepping stone to Formula One. You can get championship points to lead to that. Yeah, now that now that it's an official FIA championship, you can start accruing super license points by yeah. competing and winning in there Formula you go. E. But my other thing is a lot of their tracks are like these weird like one off like street circuits or whatever. If you could get them more because a lot of people who do Formula Two, Formula Three, you know, super formula whatever, is those are on like proper tracks. So you get that experience. So I think if you could get Formula E doing more stuff on even just like shortened, you know, versions of the tracks that we currently have, I think that would be a huge benefit. Yeah. You know, so. Because you can't race Formula E street circuits on your, uh, on your Xbox or anything like that. That's just, yeah. Yeah. So there, there, there is that, but in some fun, interesting, news uh ryan newman remember him he was in that super scary wreck at the end of the daytona 500 and then he walked yes. out of the fucking hospital two days later um he has been cleared to go back racing really yes boy. yeah he's been cleared to go back racing and as he's planning on getting back into it as soon as uh the, you know the apocalypse ends and he is a little thankful that this whole thing has happened because racing has stopped so it's given him a little bit more time to you know do some do some therapy and get back to 100 percent. so there you go that, that's a good thing and um yes good news yeah. for him yes and uh lando norris young man good at video games good at racing sims um yeah he went he did a one-off race in indycar's i racing thing and immediately put the car on pole and then proceeded to win the race so, and uh, fun thing about this is the iRacing cars, they have the, the aero screen on them. So those are modeled in. And the only, one of the few places that the aero screen cars have actually driven in real life has been at Coda 
and their lap times were, you know, when they did the testing in winter, they were running about 146s. Was about what Will Power was doing in the simulated race. Lando Norris did a one a high of 143. So times are you know fairly consistent between the real world and the game. So that's that's that. Nice. Yep. And then in some other fun news, uh, do you guys know what a Garage 56 entry is for Le Mans, the 24 Hours of Le Mans? No. Okay, so Garage 56 is just like the last garage in the paddock at Le Mans, and it is used pretty much for just like weird experimental and one-off or, you know, cars that are kind of pushing the limits of what a race car can be. So like the, uh, the Delta Wing... Uh, or was. the the, uh, the, the blah, 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 Volkswagen one, whatever the, the electric thing. The IDR. The, yeah. yeah. In theory, that could be that could be entered as a Garage Fifty Six entry, but it's really the Garage Fifty Six entries aren't eligible to win the race, but they can run in the race as just kind of like, hey, this is what racing can do. So, uh, I believe it was either last year or the year before this uh, group SRT. Forty-one. They modified an LMP2 car, so a quad amputee could actually drive it. Wow! And, yeah, and they Using did. And, what his teeth? I mean, God, I brain I didn't power. Read, I didn't Eyesight. Read, I didn't read too much into it, but I'm assuming it was probably like what Alex Zanardi does, who doesn't uh, like he was. Things. Yeah, like he's you know ampute. He's a double amputee. Doesn't have any legs, so because of a horrific IndyCar crash but he actually does sports car racing and does fairly well in it. So BMW M8s, right? Yeah. So yeah, I'm assuming it's probably something very similar to that where it's just like, you know, the legs kind of click in on the pedals and he has like hand, you know, something. So. Oh, well, there's a drifter guy who uses his shoulders to shift. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure what, uh, the SRT41 car was like, but it actually completed the twenty, the full 24 hours with not only a quad amputee, but also fully ambulatory drivers swapping in and out. So oh, that's cool. But yep. Absolutely. But there is a company called Vision, and at the next 24 hour of the law, they want to bring in a biomethane powered supercar Ooh. to actually compete. So it would be something kind of like an Aston Martin Valkyrie, but you know powered by biomethane which this wouldn't be the first time this has ever happened uh in 2017 a company called welter racing was planning on doing basically the same thing but they had a real tough financial spot and had to back out so yeah and uh welter racing is actually going to maybe sell some of these things after you know they do the race maybe 10 or 15 of them and you know yeah, but they're trying to do this on a realistic budget of 10 to 12 million euros for development and actual racing of the car. So that's kind of tight. Yeah. Yep. So there we go. That's the racing news. Um, I would like to mention that we need to have a special episode on with uh, Dan Chalinski yep. because he has a 20 minute rant. Uh, on Formula E, and I would love to hear it personally. So, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm down to Dan. We'll have to have say. you on. Yes, we will. Can I be there for that one? We'll turn it into a drinking game. There it is. I yeah. I support it. Yeah, Dan, we'll get you on for that, and then we'll we'll have you stick around for some other stuff. It'll be it'll be fun. It'll be a good time. Yes. Anyway, uh, yeah. So that's that's pretty much all of the the proper the good and proper news that we've got. So. Trent, do you have a, a TDC for us or a billion dollar question? I actually do not. No, well, it's all right. I have I have failed you today. No, you haven't. You've you're you're doing the heavy lifting. You're doing a lot a lot of heavy <laughs> lifting right now. So, um, uh, plus I yeah. put it in uh, Zach's uh, or not Zach uh, AJ's. It, it, I put it on his plate just now. So, AJ, track daily crush, go. Ooh, give me a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> while while he's taking that minute, uh, do you want to give us a uh, one of those uh, random stories there at the end, there, Mike? Yes. So there's only one for whatever reason. Today was fairly light on just like random shenaniganry. So um, yeah, somebody somebody in uh, Portland was really on that fucking grind, 
And by really on that fucking grind, I mean they drove around to a bunch of different Wendy's when they were doing that free four-piece McNugget thing. Wait, hold on. Is this the fry equivalent of the 300 coffees? I mean, this is some this is some galaxy brain shit that this dude participated in. Uh, Squeezy Jibs is the Twitter handle. Just, just a, an amazing name. Yep. So this is time just tough. So when I heard Wendy's was giving out free four piece nugs today, I knew I had to hustle. I hit every damn Wendy's twice within 17 miles across two states. It took five hours, but now we eaten free for a week. What it do? And so, this guy is just the epitome of what you think he is. He's wearing his armor is his face mask. It's it's just this, this guy's my hero. Yeah, I actually did the math for that. There, yes, it's you in did. the comment section. If anybody yep. wants to go look at so, the actual figures for that. Yep. Uh Brand McConkey does point out that he is indeed wearing underwear. Asking is he wearing underwear around his neck? Yes, he is. So also I think he's holding like a razor to shave his face in his other hand. God only knows what he is doing. I think that's what he's holding. No, he's holding a frying pan. It's a fucking frying pan. I'm blind. Okay. Amazing. Outstanding. What a power move. Yep. This is great. That is uh, that is the hero we deserve and need right now. There is a related story that I think is even more interesting that popped up as I was reading this story about the Nuggets. All right. Well, well, let's let's get through AJ's math here okay. because he put some math in. Okay, so, yes. He, he did do some good to, work. I'm going to read this verbatim. Okay, party people, here's the stats. According to his map, he hit eight Wendy's hitting each twice. That's 16 four-piece nuggets at 99 cents each would cost fifteen eighty-four at retail before tax. His trip was 63 miles total. If we assume that he got the average mileage for a car, 20 miles per gallon, he only used 3.15 gallons or $7.62 in gas. Regular in Oregon is two forty-two a gallon, meaning that he saved approximately eight dollars and twenty-two cents. This does not take into account tax, or as Scott Chamberlain pointed out, or the value of his time. <laughs> so, <laughs> squeezy jibs. He's he's got no value on time. All right, seriously, he's got nothing but time right now. Yep, he is a man with too much time on his hands. Also, like, he uh, has some awesome, awesome seat cushions. Seat yes. he does. No, his seat so covers, he, yeah, were top notch. What is he oh. writing? Are we, are we pinned it down yet? Like, it's 90s. Did you, did, can you guys see the. Uh... I see the door cards. Yeah, the door I cards actually went 90s. as far as to like look up his Instagram and see if he's like posted a picture of his car. I couldn't find anything. Oh. Yeah. Detective AJ over here. Well, because I wanted to see like what he's driving and get an actual figure for miles per gallon as opposed to just using like a round figure. Yep. But uh, Wendy's did reply to him. They said, uh, that's straight up impressive, not going to lie. So, Did they at least throw some free nugs his way? They should. I, I mean, God only knows. God only knows. Okay, so the, the story that popped up related to this one that just has Florida Man written all over it. However, it was in California. California official resigns after throwing cat drinking beer during Zoom meeting. What? <laughs> yes, I will throw this in, in your Please chat here. do. <laughs> so yeah, a, an official in a California city resigned after throwing his cat and apparently gulping a beer during a Zoom meeting with other functionaries. Uh, yeah, it was uh, on April 20th. Chris Platzer picked up his pet, said, I'd like, you, like to introduce my cat, and then threw it. And was spotted taking sips from a green bottle and made demeaning remarks throughout the call. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> Bet you anything, it's in. He was in Merced. Uh, let's see. This uh, is... Northern California city. It, yeah, so he's in Merced. Yeah, redneck uh, as yeah. fuck. <laughs> I'm going to call bullshit on you little bitches, he said, according to the original commission meeting footage released by the Northern California City. Oh, my God. He might yeah. have been in Fremont. They're kind of freak crazy in Fremont. Uh, let's see. Uh, I serve at the pleasure of the council and no longer have that trust and backing. I extend my gratitude to those who have supported me during my tenure. I always have felt that serving Viejo in a voluntary position is honorable because Viejo 
is worth serving. We are all living in uncertain times, and I certainly, like many of you, am adjusting to a new normalcy, which is apparently drinking, which is apparently day drinking and throwing your fucking cat around. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he's in Vallejo. That's amazing. Had a boy. The Vallejo Planning Commission teleconference on, of all days, April 20th. <laughs> Outstanding. Yeah. Fucking great. Outstanding. What a power move. God damn. So, did that give uh, you enough time there, AJ, to come up with a track daily crush for us? I think I have one, although I can't guarantee it'll be top shelf. It's okay. I threw it on you literally at the last second. So, because yeah. it's, I was, I was trying to think of one you guys haven't done yet. So, <laughs> it's okay to put us back in reruns. It's okay. I was thinking along. So, here's what I have: is the. Uh, Mitsubishi Galant VR4, I'm sorry, the Legnum VR4 wagon, the mm, okay. V6 twin turbo, the Nissan Stagia, okay. mm. and the uh, Subi Forester STI. Ooh. Zach has an answer. Zach You're wrong. An what? what? I didn't say anything. Uh, can I swap the Forester for a GTB? A GTB is legacy. a legacy. Uh, oh right! Hold on, let me explain this to Ryan. Uh, track Daily Crush is basically fuck Mary Kill, but with cars. So there you go. I I am not one for changing the rules. I hate doing that. But come on, a GTB. Versus okay, okay, we can we can we can swap it for the GTB. That's a bit more fitting in that kind of car class. The twin turbo with the VR4. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so so we'll swap it then. Uh, Legnum. Uh, Stagia and the Subaru GTV. I oh forgot God, this is a one. really, really Honestly, hard no, one for me. No, this just made it super easy. I was going to say with the Forester, it was a tough decision, but with the GTB, I mean, crush the Okay, GTB. well then, then, then like, keep it with I'm the gonna... <laughs> <laughs> See, that's tougher. I don't want to crush the Fozzie, but I, I would crush I can't win with this one. No. Okay, so um, this is really hard because I actually want to own all three of those cars at some point. Um, uh, uh, hold on, I can't even make a decision right now. Daily mm. the stage, what stage are we talking about? Can I just assume? Uh, or, uh, I can't talk right now either. I'm going to do uh, the, whichever the one that they everybody does the uh, R34, R34 swap front end. Daily that. Okay. Yeah, the, um, I, uh, fuck, yeah, the track the Subaru and crush the VR4. But that's a hard one. That's really hard. Yeah, I'm gonna daily the Stagia. I'm gonna track the uh, the Mitsu, and then I'm gonna crush whatever Subaru. Just we'll make it easy on you. Uh, I am going to daily the Subaru. I am going to track the Stagia, and I am going to crush the Mitsubishi because I don't want to. Do- you said it was a twin turbo V6, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that ball of nightmares. <laughs> so. That was Give me head gasket problems for days. Eating piston rings. I don't want to deal with a twin turbo V6. Turned the wrong way. Engine and out for shoot. everything. Spark plugs, engine out. Water pump, engine out. Oil pump, engine out. Yeah, no. Like, no, that, that that's not happening. So, Is yeah. it engine out for everything? I didn't... No, it's not quite that bad. I didn't it, think it was it's, that it's, bad to work on. No. It's, it's, it's not a Z32. Huh. Yeah, no. But it's it's a transverse twin turbo v6 it's just it's not it's not a great setup yeah but if you look at it in the engine bay it's actually really nicely placed yeah i mean well, well, well so, so is it with the volvo v8 in the, the s80 but it's still not a great engine to work on you make a point yeah like it's it's one of those like something something mildly annoying goes wrong in the track you know i can at least deal with the nissan like everything's not I don't have to like import things. <laughs> I don't have to yank shit out of the way. Oh, Jackson. Oh, Jackson. Because I made a joke at him. Ah, there you go. So I'm going to daily the Forester. I'm going to track the Legnum just because um, I think you guys saw Gavin shared a video of one of those things autocrossing. Oh, like yeah. A, like a baller because it's got the same uh, drivetrain out of the Evo. Yeah. Oh no, it's fucking it's fucking badass. But so we'll we'll track that. We'll daily the Fozzie and the Stagia just goes in the crusher. It doesn't appeal to me. No, I, I think I think we all have our reasons, and I think they're all well founded. Yeah. So I'm I'm not as passionate about this one as I I was about the pop up headlights. So I apologize. Nope. I'm not. I am on a rant because like, but I 
would love to import a GTB at some point. Uh, R34 converted uh, or stage is there's the poster on my wall, and I don't have one, but if I did, I would be that. <laughs> yeah. And then just Mitsubishi Wagons with basically an Evo. Fuck yeah. Yeah, no, like it, it looks tight as hell, but like. Is it at least the also- wallpaper on your phone, Zach? Uh, right now, the wallpaper on my phone is an F40. No. Well, then it's not your wallpaper car. Can you bring uh, this down? Um, AJ, props to you on coming up with that off the top of uh, your head. Yes, that was. Cool. Yeah, that was. I you. award you five thousand cam points, which are worth nothing. But you know, they're everything you're made up in the keep. points don't matter. Don't like exactly. the Marlboro bucks, effectively no worthless at this point. <laughs> It's it's just whose line rules. The, yeah, um, rules are made up, and the points don't matter. Because yeah. AJ has exactly. no points. Yeah, I've never received points here. Exactly. I've never uh, received negative. points either, and I co-founded this damn thing. I Mike, think I am the first guest to receive points. I'm yeah, I think you are. And, yeah, uh, Mike, I'll give you hundred points. Breaking records here! Hooray! Do I get points? Mike, Mike gets hundred points for being an OG. Do, 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 do I get points? Nope. Why do I have a feeling Jackson just wants us to TDC cars he owns or at his house? No, we should. Hold on. Can we please TDC oh, the cars he owns? Okay, hold on. Oh hold God. on. The 300 ZX, a 91 Honda Accord, or um, uh, what's the other car he's owned that he's kind of hit? 521 Datsun. Jesus. Like a truck. Wait, um, hang on. Burn them all. Problem yeah, hold with- on. Zach, Zach, hold on. <laughs> Problem with Ryan's TDC. Is there an Explorer ST? Yeah, there, there is. is. We oh, talked yeah. about it earlier. I thought you talked about the uh, Escape. Have I know. Been... I said they have the Edge ST. They have the Explorer ST. They 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 are STing all the things, but Except not the escape. the escape. Yeah. I, okay. I claim a lack of lucidness. Um, that's fine. Okay. We don't want you to we'll be able to you. lucid. Accord, hey, Z32, five hundred one Dotson. Hey, AJ, uh, I'm going to give you another thousand points for owning up to your mistake. There it is. <laughs> Jackson's okay. all aboard crushing the Z32. I would daily the Z32 to track the Honda Accord and crush the Datsun. Mm. What? The Honda edition is not even any good Hondas. It's a 93 Accord, a 2004 Honda Civic, and an 84 Prelude. Okay, Gen 5 Prelude, um, Integra Type R, and uh, Mike, you're a Honda guy. What's a good Civic? Civic SI. Uh, the best Civic, the S two thousand. Yes, or, okay, okay, S two K. So S two K, Integra, oh, oh. and um, what did I say? Fifth gen Prelude. Go. Okay, on Jackson's Crush the Prelude. A- uh, track the S two thousand daily. The Type R. Okay, so so Jackson's owned an S two thousand. I second that. S two thousand. I I second uh, Mike oh, and oh. AJ. Mike there is the only answer. The motion carries. No, 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 no one's listening to me anymore. That's Decided. Fine. It's okay. It's okay, Zach. <laughs> Fine. Don't worry, I've, I've come up. I have come up with a, a TDC that we will unleash next week. Okay. So, ooh, I am, re- I'm excited and intrigued. Oh, it's going to be interesting. It is going to cause animosity in the group more so than there already is. So, well, really? Fuck you, Trent. Yep. Even more than the pop up headlight argument? Uh, perhaps yes. So, I look forward to this. There we go. And I think on that note, I believe it is time to uh, land the plane here. I don't think we're landing this. I think this is a nose dive. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Just get this goddamn thing on the ground. That's what really what we're trying to do here. Uh, How many anyway. pop-ups do you see on airplanes? Aerodynamics. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Some planes do hey, have actually... pop-up headlights. Uh, air, or, uh, fighter jets have <laughs> covers for their, their lights. So there's no reflective surfaces. So get fucked. I was gonna say he's got a point, and no. there are is... there are quite a few air, military aircraft that have lights on the landing gear. So it they extends. only come out when the landing gear extends. So technically, they are pop ups. They're, They're pop downs. downs. <laughs> They're pop or pop downs. Technically, you're not invited anymore, AJ. Uh, AJ, you're you're welcome most any time. <laughs> Uh, thank you for joining us, AJ. It has been it has been a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks, AJ. This I'm happy to actually amazing. finally meet you. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah. We've talked a whole bunch and we've I've talked to you and at you. 
we've done catastrophically dumb things on GT Sport together. Oh my God, yes. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this week this week Switch Tuesday is going to be the last for Forza. I think next week we're going to get back into some uh, some GT Sport or some other PlayStation Four stuff. So I'm sad that I'm not going to be able to join you guys on Forza, but no, it's all right. You know, there will be. be plenty of other time to join in the ridiculous bullshit that is Forza. So, Does anybody else have Need for Speed Heat? Can we all play that? Oh, I, PC, I think. I don't have Need for Speed Heat in any capacity. No? So, you know, unfortunately. Damn, okay. Yep, AJ, feel free to pop in your Venmo here real quick to get you an Xbox. <laughs> oh, uh, let me make one real quick. Hang on, actually, I think I have an Xbox. <laughs> I'm going I'm to start a GoFundMe for, uh, to get me an Xbox. What's my Venmo? Well, well, while AJ figures out the digital panhandling. Uh, off the wall, five eighteen, all one word. This is my Venmo. Perfect. Me up. There it is. Find him on Venmo. Uh, find him on various other social media platforms. I'm sure. But yeah, it's off the wall, five eighteen on uh, Instagram too, right? Uh, no, Instagram oh. is uh, oh, just, just another, just another drummer. drummer with there it underscores is. underneath. There we go. Hold on, we'll pull Whitnick right now. Oh, uh, there you go. I'm not that interesting though. Don't don't bother. Yeah, well, we're just... I am. So you can just follow me. <laughs> amazing amazing well I'm really, thank- not. I'm really not well well uh zach may not be interesting and aj may not be interesting but we're kind of interesting sometimes and we are at cam automag on all the social medias <laughs> and uh speaking of interesting ryan uh in the chat you we will uh, we're gonna have to take some of your tdc suggestions and uh <laughs> hit them up on, an, on another episode Ooh. wow that last one why does the Solera yes. have to be a convertible though? Oh, and is because that, like, it's so much better. Is that new eight six or old eight six? I'm presuming new. I'm going to assume old because well, the no, Sol- we'll, we'll we'll get to it. We'll get to we'll it. Figure it week. out. I'll, we'll Ryan, lay out the grad rules. Ryan, but I'm just Ryan. Put us in a good place here, though. That's a good Ryan, one. I like that one. Ryan, send us those and some more mailbag at camautomag.com. So, just give us the list. So there you go. That's and if anybody has We're any open for suggestions. Yep. If anybody has any TDCs, you know, just long form hatred or praise or whatever, mailbag at camautomag dot com. Uh, yeah, uh, podcast is available where you get your podcasts: Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play. Like, rate, review, subscribe. Again, do the whole bluesmobile thing. Just put a big ass civil defense speaker on top of your car and just drive around slowly and spread the joy. Uh, support us on Patreon: Patreon dot com slash camautomag. Uh, any dollar amount is uh, appreciated. Seriously, any dollar amount is appreciated. But if you give us at least $5 a month, that means you get to see this podcast recording happen every Monday, not just the last Monday of the month. It gets you into the CAMS Super Secret Shitposting Shenanigans Facebook group, gets you bonus content, gets you the audio version of the podcast a day early at least. Sometimes I feel frisky and I just throw it up immediately after we're done recording. So, you know, you can just really binge it and just put it on a loop and i don't know what kind of person you are if you do that but god bless you and Ryan, no, seek gar- help. no guarantees see you but you next week out of as a patreon i will yell at you at cars and coffee there I it mean, is i mean i binge old episodes i have to yeah that's what i listen to at work when i'm sitting in my box with nothing to do nobody to talk to hey man we've got 262 of these episodes i mean there's a lot you can go back through and listen so, and yeah, if you're a patron, you can listen a day early. So that's always a fun thing. That's patreon.com slash cam And um, no guarantees, but we could be scraping the bottom of the barrel and need a guest like AJ. I mean, yeah. that's why I'm here. Bottom Pretty of the much. barrel. Yep, exactly. <laughs> we're, we're really, we've gone through the bottom of the barrel and now we're just hitting the deck. So anyway, love you, AJ. Love you buddy. Um, <laughs> As you can see, AJ is wearing a sweet-ass Cam Auto Mag hat. That is something you can get at camautoswag.com. Summer's coming up, so we've got some new stuff in the store. We've got flip-flops, we've got shorts, and we have a backpack. So those are all things that I'm going to be buying because, God damn it, I like backpacks. So, I will be yes. buying the Who doesn't love backpacks? Sure. Exactly. I need flip-flops, so I'm going to get those because my, my ones that are weirdly... Are yeah, my ones Absolutely. that were weirdly reminiscent of uh, Sally McNulty's old livery on her STI. Those have uh, I've lost one of them, and the other one is filthy. So those have those are going away. So it's just going to be cam flip flops from here on out. And I'm a big fat guy, so I need shorts. So I'm getting at least two pairs of the shorts. 
So all that is available over at camautoswag.com. And the wing coop offer still stands. We get the I Sign the Waiver shirt, which is Dave in the middle of the 11 challenge up at wing coop. If you get that shirt and you go up and take a selfie in front of wing coop, I will buy you a dozen wings of your choice. So Yes, the, yeah. the hoodie is gone, but the shirt is still there for the yes. I Sign the Waiver. Yep, it's getting hot out there. So there we go. And while you're out there throwing money at uh, people on the internet, Steady Broke Clothing, our longtime sponsor, SteadyBroke.com. Get yourself that Steady Broke hat that Trent is shoving in the camera. Get the Broke AF shirt. Get the Depress OT. Get all sorts of awesome stuff. And use coupon code CAMAUTO15 at checkout and save 15% on your entire order over at SteadyBroke.com. And again, Twitch Tuesdays is a thing. We are doing one more evening of Forza Horizon 4. I don't know what in God's name we're going to be doing, but I do know it will end in shenaniganry because it always does. We get going at 7 p.m., which is 9 p.m. AJ's time, which is Eastern, and 3 p.m. Hawaiian because, again, I did the, I Googled it and I figured it out. So there you go, folks. Uh, yeah, twitch.tv slash camautomike is where you go to watch the shenaniganry happen. Uh, anything else, guys? So support Cam and buy the flip-flops and Cam will support you. Ah. Oh. You just replaced me. You just replaced me. You're better than me already. Shit. Well, there we go. On that note, for episode 262 of the Camcast, I have been Mike. I've been Zach. I've been Trent. And I have been AJ. There we go. Bye, everybody. Bye, people. Love you a long time.